Welcome, I'm Melissa from Energy Inc., makers of the Energy Detective. The following troubleshooting videos have been designed to be watched in order so you can correctly diagnose and solve your TED 5000 issue. This video assumes that you have already watched our installation video, the MTU and CT sets have already been installed in your breaker panel, and the gateway has already been plugged in to an available outlet. The gateway is also a good location to start when troubleshooting as the three lights on the gateway indicate communication. The LED light on the front of the gateway indicates communication with the wireless display. The LED on the side of the gateway indicates communication with the MTU, which is installed in the breaker panel. The light on top of the gateway near the Ethernet jack confirms a successful computer or router connection. We'll start our troubleshooting with accessing the footprint software. If you can already access your footprint software, please proceed to our footprint settings video. If you cannot view your Footprints dashboard, please make sure that you've already connected the including Ethernet cable into the gateway. Connect the other end of the cable to your Internet router. To access the Footprint software, start by opening your preferred browser, such as Firefox, Chrome, or Internet Explorer. You should be able to connect to the gateway by typing the following address into your browser, http colon slash slash ted5000. If you can't connect to the gateway at this point, visit www.theenergydetective.com. Once you're at the Energy Detective homepage, click on the Support tab. Go down to Downloads and then Installation Utility. Choose your operating system, click on the link, and save the file. Once the file is downloaded, open the Installation Utility. If you get a prompt for a security warning, go ahead and click Run. Once the installation utility is open, it will automatically begin scanning your network for your gateway. Once the gateway is found, it will automatically appear on the screen. Select the gateway, note the IP address, and click on Launch in Browser. Your preferred browser will open, and the program will initially take a few seconds to load. If your router has reassigned your IP address on more than one occasion, you may want to set it as a static IP. This will be covered in the next video, the footprint settings. If the installation utility does find the IP address of the gateway, but the footprints page is not loading correctly, try using a different browser. For example, try Google Chrome if you have been trying to connect with Internet Explorer or vice versa. Sometimes Internet browser settings can prevent the page from opening correctly. If this is not successful, download the latest firmware from the website and use the installation utility to load the latest firmware, then try to access the footprints page. Please watch our firmware upgrade video prior to downloading. The installation utility should return an IP address that has been assigned by your router. If the utility returns the default IP address of the gateway, which is 192.168.7.2, or does not find the gateway at all when scanning, this may indicate a problem with the router settings. In this instance, you may connect the gateway directly to your computer. However, keep in mind that some computers require a crossover type cable, which is available at your local Radio Shack or Best Buy. Also, keep in mind that connecting the gateway directly to your computer may affect your ability to connect to the internet. Therefore, if you're having any sort of router issues, we do recommend that you contact the router manufacturer or your local IT professional in order to resolve any router settings issues. We're now ready to proceed with a direct connection. Once your computer is ready, connect the Ethernet cable from your gateway directly into your computer. Although the paths may vary depending on your operating system, go to your computer, then Control Panel, then Network Settings, Next, click Local Area Network and select Properties. Next, you want to select Internet Protocol. If there are multiple Internet Protocols, select Version 4 and select Properties. You will want to note the current settings so that you can return to them later. First, you'll want to change the IP address to 192.168.7.1. Subnet mass should be set at 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway should also be set to 192.168.7.1. Do not change the settings for DNS server and click OK. Now, open your preferred browser. Once you open the browser, go to the browser address bar and type 192.168.7.2 this should bring up the footprint software.